Real Gems and welcome back to my channel. So before we get into the videos, quickly do the old spill. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of this bear's idea. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. So this, 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 the spare's idea for this time is we're going to be decorating this little piggy bank I got from Timu. This cost me about £1.50, so it won't break the bank for anybody either. And we've got a little... Whoop, it's smoother than I thought. Little stopper at the bottom, so we can always get money out of it and everything. And I just thought it'd be a good, fun little idea. I haven't 100% decided on what I'm going to do. I was thinking about doing, like, maybe a cow print or something. But that might look quite cool. I think I have got enough of, like, a lighter white to um it's not quite white it's more of a creamy color but i have got enough of that and a big loads of free tents so i should be able to do it easy because it looks like there will be enough there so i think that's what we're going to do so i'm going to paint him up and everything so we don't have no pink showing through and then we will get to cracking with him looking like a cow i think i think that'll look quite quite funky i think so yeah so we're gonna paint them all over white and then obviously i'll do the patterns with of the cow design type thing black and then we will get cracking with getting them decorated shall we so yeah um i'm the paint i'm going to be using is acrylic paint um got that from the works in the uk but it's just normal acrylic paint and i'll be using my good old b7000 glue to stick the drills on so, yeah, so let's get to cracking, shall we? is all painted up i've done two coats of black that is enough because you can tell it's nice and thick and the white took four but it could do with a bit more if i'm being honest but i don't think it really shown now it's still a light bit of a pinkish tinge to it i think i can get away with it um so i've just done like the four coats of the white because for some reason this just seems to take me take forever and then the two coats of the black. So, yeah, the, the white isn't the thickest on this. But, yeah, so he is all painted up. I haven't done his actual face area. I thought, because, obviously, if I did black onto black, it's just, you're not going to see his eye or nothing. So, unless I can find a special shape drill that's, like, kind of a roundish oval shape. And I can utilise that instead. And that way, the eye will stick out. Then I could do extra pattern. Yeah, I went a bit a bit over there and got a bit of paint there. No problem. That would easily cover. But yeah, I'm not the tidiest. I'm not the I'm not an artist or nothing. But I think the patterns look pretty good. So let's get to cracking. I will be using me old B7000 glue first to stick the drills on, and I'll be doing the black first. Right, so. And then we can uh, then after do the white. So yeah, we're gonna do the black first, then the white, and then that way, if I think I'm gonna be running out when I'm doing the white, I can um, then put extra black pattern on and everything. So that way, I can uh, make the white go further. So yeah, I'm gonna do the black first, and then I'll do the white and everything. So yeah, let's get cracking.
right so i am currently i'm like almost done i haven't got much left i've um got his nose and a bit of the white here but as you can see i've done all over with the black and white drills and i have to say i'm really pleased how it's coming out there is like a little bit of black there which was obviously smudged um it's the odd little black bit showing through or smudge but it's fine it honestly at a distance i'm gonna hold it away from me you can't even really see it to be honest but yeah really am pleased with how it's coming out i think i'm doing a pretty good job if i'm being honest but yeah um I thought I'd try recording with me headphones because someone said they couldn't really hear me so I don't know if it was me or when I was editing or I've noticed on a few videos recently on YouTube the volume's been extremely high on quite a few videos so I'm not quite sure if it's me or YouTube's messed up somehow um, when going out you know with the music but yeah i've noticed there's been like quite a few videos as well um that i've just happened to watch and they've all said that the videos the, the music is too high over over them talking so yeah it'll be interesting to know like when next when i edit, edit this video see if it's that if i've messed up when i'm editing somehow but yeah i am still getting used to the edits and software so apologies about on the jar video about it being music being too loud and all that so i'm really really am sorry about that um but yeah i don't know how on earth it happened because when i was like editing and everything it all sounded fine but then all of a sudden you know go to watch it and it's like boom with the music and i was like what's going on but yeah apologies about that but obviously like, if the music was too loud then people turn the headphones down you know if you were into my headphones or whatever because you don't want the music blasting really loud so obviously then obviously when i'm talking normal then you won't be able to really hear me because you've turned the, the volume down because of the music so yeah um it's the only thing i think of but yeah i will definitely um check and make sure it's not me next time i edit well when i go to edit this video hopefully it won't happen again so please let me know down below in the old comments but yeah thank you for pointing that out um but yeah i have no idea how or why or but all i can think of i'm still getting used to the editing software as well so it could be that you know i made a mistake with the volume or something somewhere or i don't know what i did if i'm being honest you know i've I've messed up somewhere most probably but yeah um so apologies about that so get on to a little bit of talky talky so yeah um we uh, it was my youngest nephew's birthday and i was like my subscribers have been with me a while know that for my birth for, not for my birthday for my nephew's birthdays they get the choice either go out for the day or they get a present and when i mean go out for the day i mean we take them somewhere do something they want to do and all that and shoot the cup tea as well and um yeah so they had the choice either you take them out for the day and spoil them rotten and it's basically yesterday or uh, we we buy them a present so yeah it's their choice and then and they've always chosen since then to go out so yeah so yeah we took my nephew to um he wanted to do a an escape room so yeah we did that and the first time i'd ever gone to an escape room myself so it was quite interesting i was like oh what are we gonna be you know i wasn't quite sure what to expect you know i've obviously i played the games before and all that nope my pig's fallen over or oh, my moo pig i'm calling it that's what i'm calling this i'm calling it a moo pig <laughs> but yeah um so yeah, we, we did the escape room and that, that was really fun. Uh, we, it was like a prison one, so we had to break out of prison. And I, they were like, have you, who, have you any of you done like escape room before? And we were all like, no. And I said, Samuel, have you ever done one before? He's like, no. I went, he was like, oh, and he was like, okay then, you've, you've chosen the hardest one and it's your first time. I was like, oh well, never mind. <laughs> I said, we'll give it a good bash. And we did it. 
we got out and everything with five minutes to spare which was good so yeah um we got out which was good that was the main thing and um but yeah he enjoyed it he absolutely loved it and then we um went on arcade you know the old two-piece slot machines and uh what else Yes, we went on the old two-piece slots and which, you know, that is just a classic British thing to do here in the UK. You know, we had the old two-piece machines and we go and, you know, play for little toys and all that. And we went on some other arcade games and my nephew as well, he wanted to go on the waltzers. And bless him, he didn't like it, so they did stop the ride early. There wasn't any, really anybody else on it, so they didn't mind stopping it early, stopping it, and so he could get off because he he didn't like it. Bless him, and I have to say the staff are very good, and they did notice that he was hating it, and they said, "Do you want us to stop it?" I said, "Yes, please." Um, I don't know if if you know if like people in, in other countries know what waltzes are. Basically, like this is a bit like the tea teapots, your know, teacups, but instead, like the pivot points a bit different. Like it swings you around, 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 and you end up going so, so fast on that. I actually, I couldn't believe how fast we went on it. So I don't blame him for not liking it, to be honest. Because I was like a bit like, woo, this is a bit faster than I was expecting. But yeah, it was quite fast. But you know, he give it a go, bless him. And he's in the K one. He said, "Oh, I'm never doing that again. I didn't like that." I was like, "I didn't think you liked it, darling." But no, you know, he wanted to go on it, and he gave it a go. Bless him. You know, wasn't for him in the end, but that is absolutely fine. That's how we find out we don't like stuff. I right, but if it was my older nephew, well, he must be would have been on about 15 times, I reckon. Because I took him to uh, Pleasure Hills uh, here in the UK. It's not a big theme park or anything, but it's it's a it's a good size and it's got some good size like roller coasters and that for him. You know, for his first time at like a, diff at, like a theme park with us. And, um, yeah, and he loved it. And I had to, like, convince him not to go on this one ride because it kept breaking down. And I was like, I really don't want to go on that one. And in the end, he was like, all right, we won't go on that one. But we went on all the others. So he was happy. And, he, yeah, so. But, yeah, but that's what we like to do with, with our nephews, you know, with our nephews. And hopefully when my niece gets older, we can do the same with her. That's the plan, you know, when she's older and hopefully we can take her out for the day. Hopefully, you know, it all depends. She might not want to do it, you know. She might just rather have a present, which is absolutely fine. It'd be her choice and her choice alone, you know. And yeah, it is a yes day. And it is a day they get spoiled, and we do pump them full of sugar, and we do give them lots of sweets, and basically, within reason, they ask for it, they get it, you know. And yeah, they that's what, that's how it is, you know, for their birthdays. And you know, my sister's never grumbled about it or nothing, you know. Feed them sugar, feed them coke, and you know, Coca Cola. I mean. Not, not the other type. <laughs> God, sorry. Um, I make Coca Cola, and uh, yeah. So, but you know, it's 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 a good day for us, and you know, we always enjoy it. You know, my my youngest nephew. You know, he he he's still quite young, so it's it's he ends up getting really tired. Bless him. So. We end up having about five, six hours out, and he starts getting tired. Bless him. So then we end up, we come home about we come home after that. So, but yeah, he still he was so excited. Everything. And luckily the weather held out. It wasn't too bad because obviously we've had bad wind here in the UK, like some storms and everything. And 
I know, like, for example, down where I am, I'm, I'm, I'm like the southeast, so we, we've, we've had it pretty lucky, if I'm being honest, or the, or yeah, roughly southeast-ish, mm -hmm. I am, and uh, we've had it quite lucky, quite, you know, we've had it mild compared to, like, up north of here, and Ireland, and they, they, they've had it pretty bad. So yeah, um, but yeah, really bad winds. We've got another one coming, another storm coming tomorrow. So yeah, another storm coming. It just seems to be so many storms at the moment, you know. But yeah, I think we're gonna more or less miss it that as well. You know, it's not gonna be too bad for us. But yeah, there's gonna be quite a, f you know, I've, I see some friends on Facebook who like live in Wales and that, and they've had it quite bad and everything they've had no power at one point but yeah um yeah so our storms here at the moment in the uk are you know pretty crazy really have been you know i don't know obviously we don't get like the big massive hurricanes like you guys do in the, in, like, in the u.s you know they are scary so scary when you see videos of all that and um but we do actually have tornadoes here we just I, mean, I think we actually have more per square mile here than the us but ours are like nowhere near as scary as yours you know ours are like my new half time don't even know they're happening and all that jazz but yeah absolutely you know crazy weather at the moment really really is so yeah Right, so let's get the rest of this white done, shall we? And then we're going to go on to the pink for his nose. I think I did the nose a bit too pink, but I want to use this colour pink so it will dial it down a little bit. And then a couple of blacks in the centre of his nose. And then on his eyes, I used a larger, like a crystal drill. Um, I've forgotten here. No, I haven't got them handy. Yes, I have. So I used these ones. And what I did, I scraped off the um, silver backing and painted the back of them black. So it's not so obvious like thingy. So I had no, no black ones of these. But no, I think it looks fine though. I really do. But yeah, and I put a little flower. I thought I'd put a little flower there on him. Just a little little bit of extra detail. I thought that was cute. I really did. And like when you look closely here yeah, that is all like a bit skew with. But when you stand back it seems to all like look really, really tidy. Which is what I'm one thing I love about this hobby, you know. It can be pretty untidy, but when you step back and have a look, it looks good. So yeah, um, I want to give a big hello to all the new subscribers come over. As always, you know, a big thank you to all my subscribers that have been with me for a while. You know, I appreciate every single one of you. I really do. Um, but yeah, I've had quite a few people come over recently to my Facebook group because... Um, People were looking for leftover projects and everything and somebody recommended the leftover group I help admin and um, some and then obviously uh, there was a post saying because sometimes the um, normal kits can um, what you could it clog up the page a little bit so what I did was I bumped a load of posts I bumped a load of mine and my album and all that I have in that group and I bumped all that up and everything and somebody saw it and they were like, oh, um, they uh, made a post and they said, oh, um, they said my name and they said, um, you should have your own page because, you know, that's what we wanted on this page, you know, more leftovers. And I said, well, I do actually have my own page and um, I... Um, and I said, like, this is my page. 
and this is um, what do you call it I said this is my page and I said I also do have a YouTube channel where I show how I make all my stuff and everything which I do you know I said you know I show videos on how how to do all my ideas and everything especially the big projects you know it's handy for the very very big projects that I've done in the past how to do them come on get in there and but yeah I've obviously found that people do like to come to watch you know to see what what ideas i have for my youtube channel and personally i do think I, I do come up with some pretty quite unique ideas if i do say so myself i could be completely wrong you know many other people could be doing the same thing as me but yeah I, I, that's what i think that my that makes my youtube channel there a little slightly bit different to everyone else's you know some would try to do the spares projects and they're just not always successful they don't realize how time consuming they are they thought they think they're going to be nice and quick and easy well in fact quite often squares squares spare projects can take longer than the normal projects because all the um you know extra work and if you feel like with the patterns and everything and obviously this doesn't look like it's very big but once you go around the whole service it is quite a big project but yeah, um, but yeah, I had quite a few new people join my page, like looking for all different ideas and everything. So yeah, that was nice. I like so my little Facebook groups over to over one thousand members now, which is crazy, you know, absolutely crazy. So I was extremely grateful for that, which was nice. So you know. And uh, if I can inspire people not to throw out all their spares and all that, then it's a bit of a mission accomplished for me because that's the one thing I was just trying to do. It was like trying to avoid all these spares projects, all these extras, leftovers and all that going in the bin. Because I don't know about you guys, you know, I, I hate the thought of everything just going in the bin. You know, our seas are full. You know, our seas have got so much plastic in them. This is just destroying everything. I watched, watched a video of a poor turtle who had a drinking straw stuck in its nose and these people got managed to get it out, bless it. You know, but yeah, um, I'm just trying my best just to try and come up with ideas for people just to use up all these extras. So, yeah. What else? Oh yeah, I did have the old asthma nurse last week. Just see how I'm getting on and everything. And she's changed my inhalers. And I've got tablets as well, which are apparently meant to be very good for asthma. And so, yeah, and I waited for the appointment at the hospital. So hopefully we will get some answers and everything. And see if it is what they want to test for you know copd so yeah i have to um i'll keep you guys updated though with that one oh, i'll tell you what i'm tired i've been awake what 26 hours nearly no 25 hours nearly i woke up at seven o'clock yesterday morning so yeah i've been awake quite a while but that's fine, I normally go to bed about 8 or 9 on a, you know, when I get in from work. Yeah, I did have work last night. Uh, what else? Anything else exciting going on? Not really that much else exciting. I've got a week off next month. A week and a half off the month after off work. Um, some people might wonder how on earth we get so much holiday here in the UK compared to other places. By law, we have we get a minimum of four weeks off each year. Where I've been with a company I work for for quite a while, you you accrue more holiday as you've been there. 
so your holiday allowance goes up and mine I think it works out about six weeks holiday a year so yeah that's quite nice so my husband's booked a nice long weekend off next month with me and he's gonna book a week off in March so yeah that will be nice spending time with my husband you know even though like he does technically work where I work I don't see him so yeah that is quite nice though but yeah it would be nice to spend some time with him next month it really will be and I'm looking forward to that, I really am. Right, let's get this last little bit of white done. So yeah, I am I am pleased with that. And I did buy myself a little bit more of a Timu haul. It wasn't a big, it wasn't loads of stuff. It was just a couple of little bits. I got myself another little DIY doll's house, which I'm really pleased about. Um... It's quite a cute little one, and like my long, t you know, my subscribers that've been with me a little while now will know. Like occasionally, if I get a little bit of like, if I lose my mojo, I will do a doll's house, and then I get my mojo back. It just you know break it up, do something different, and I, it's just a break I needed really when I do like do that like last time i did record the whole process it was so so fun so so fun we, you know just different so it's something slightly different um but yeah it's just it just gives me that little break if i need it from diamond painting occasionally you know uh, i brought obviously this piggy bank i think this piggy bank was like one pound odd it was dirt cheap like around 50 i think dirt dirt cheap and I, to be honest, yeah, the quality of it feels really nice. It feels nice and thick and sturdy. And we have the open close thing at the bottom. So that is good. So I can open and close, like, get the money out and all that whenever I want. Um, I've got myself a little drawer set from Timu, which I'm going to replace my current storage for my tools with. But I'm just going to decorate it up first. And that was like one pound eighteen or something silly like that. And I tell you what, I wasn't quite sure what I was gonna get. If it was gonna be too small or whatever. But I tell you what, it is big, and you get two drawers in it as well, and then all the holders and everything. And I was actually really surprised at the size of it. I really was. So yeah, that that's an. You know, I'm looking forward to doing that as a little spares project. And then, um, what else? Take it from Timu. I want some more coasters, some more cat coasters, a different set this time. Um, yeah, to do up for the old cat auction, cat rescue. So, yeah, I do like to, like, make things of them. Um, oh, they, um, those of you who were around before Christmas, um, that cat diamond painting that I did finally went on the auction group. And it raised £30, which I was quite pleased with, actually. Not quite what I paid for it and cost in the frame and everything. But it still made £30. £30 is a good amount of money. That's, a, like, at least a booster jab for a cat or some cat food or something you know all the bits basically most of the bits i think i gave them a lot of the coasters did sell the first lot of coasters they split them into two lots and they did sell nicely um yeah they split them into two lots and they sold nicely i've got a six set of coasters here now and i reckon they will hopefully sell nicely i have got another set of coasters as well somewhere and i reckon they would actually sell as well so i might do both lots for them but yeah all right i think i've been blabbing on way too long now so i'm going to get this last little bit done 
and then I will I can show you how it's um, looked till it's finished. I will be buying myself a little turntable thing, a little electric one, so then I can pop my little my smaller makes on it, and then you guys, you know, without me standing there twisting it around and all that jazz. But yeah, I I think next month that's what I'm going to order myself. I'm going to order myself a little turntable. Then that way, you know, it will look a bit more nicer, really, instead of me sitting there twisting around. It can sit on the little turntable and you can get a full 360 of it. So, yeah, I'll be buying that next month. I think they're only about seven, eight quid as well. So it's not a bad price at all. But, yeah, that's my little, that's my little aim for next month to buy from Timu. I do like a little Timu order every now and then, you know. Especially with something I need, and um, I do need the little thing. And I personally pay with Apple Pay, so I haven't had any issues. I know there's been reports of people having issues, but I haven't actually personally met anybody who's had any issues with Timu. But yeah, right, so I want to get cracking, get this nose finished, and then I can show you how it looks finished, okay? And my little moo pig is done. What do you guys think? I am so pleased with how it's come out. I think it's come out really, really good. Um, so yeah, obviously I did um, in the end add the extra black bits around the face area. I know you can't really see his eye that much, but obviously if you're looking for it, you can see it. Um, I also did a little detail for the heart and I painted the nose pink and put on the pink drills um, for his nose really do like how it's come out I think it's come out wicked I will seal it I, w I haven't yet but um, I will seal it with my clear gloss varnish um, it's just a clear gloss varnish that I get from a DIY shop nothing special or fancy just a clear gloss varnish basically uh, but yeah um, that is what I will use on that. I am glad that I did decide to paint it first. So then, like, underneath the black, not all white, is sh pink is showing through and everything. It actually looks more block colour. I am, I think I will go in that route from now on regarding the colours, showing through what, you know, from white and that. Uh, I just think it does help not, like, show, make it look more full. If that makes sense? But, yeah, um, because... Uh, I never used to do that, but I started doing that recently, and I do, yeah, it is another step, but it does help, you know, it's from like all different colours showing from underneath the, you know, different drills. But yeah, uh, really, really, really easy. I did find it quite easy to do. The most awkward bit was definitely the nose and the ears, uh, but apart from that, everything else was quite plain sailing. 
uh what else but yeah of course i use my old b7000 glue i am really pleased with how it's come out and everything and yeah so that is it for this video uh let me know below in the old comments what you guys think i did find this little um cake decorating turntable which i can use for the time being so yeah i forgot i had that when i used to make cakes because so, i always used to make cakes for my nephew's birthdays but i just don't seem to have time anymore you know with everything else going on in life but yeah um so that is it for this video don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up comment down below and let me know what you think of this spares project and if you haven't already please subscribe i appreciate it um liking give me a like on the videos really really does help my channel honestly so please hit that thumbs up really appreciate it so that is it for this video thank you ever so much for watching and i shall see you all next time bye everyone